hello guys welcome back to my channel before i start i just want to use this opportunity to thank all my old subscriber all my new subscribers thank you so much for your love and your support so in today's video i'll be showing you how i'm going to make my fry croaker fish and as you we all know easter is approaching and during the easter most of us christian we go for fish so there'll be more fish recipe coming you know so i want to make um tilapia and i would like to share with you how i'm gonna make it so i have my tilapia here i've washed it already inside salt water okay so i'm gonna leave that aside and show you guys the remaining ingredients so as you guys can see i have green bell pepper i have yellow i have red i have the sweet red long pepper i have tomatoes i have ginger garlic i have one uh chicken cube and i have my aromat if you don't have aromat you can use any um maybe a chicken seasoning any other jumbo that you use you know it doesn't have to be aromat but i love aromat that's why i use it so i have onions as you guys can see sorry i have my onions and i have my ground white pepper you can also use ground black pepper i prefer to use ground black pepper for this recipe but i couldn't find it so i'm using the white pepper so uh that is everything i have here and i'm also going to be using um it's a bit tricky guys but you know i'll be using a bit of palm oil and i'll be also using vegetable oil i'm going to mix it okay so now guys let's start so i'm just taking this away Ooh. so i have my fish and now as i told you guys earlier i seasoned my fish with salt i wash it inside salt water i mean so what i'm going to do i'm just going to take half of this maggie can you guys see and i'm going to miss six gonna rub that is it rub it or just put it and i'm going to add aromant not a lot because we don't want it too sweet because when you add too many seasoning is too many it's becoming uh salty instead of sweet it will be salty so we don't want it salty we just want it sweet so i'm going to rub it with my hand please guys be careful or you can use wooden spoon or spoon because fish is very bony so you don't want fish to enter your hand but i'm very good at this you know and i'm also careful as well so i'm just going to mix all that i make sure your hand is clean i've washed my hands my hand is clean so i'm just rubbing all the seasoning you know the maggi I think i'm talking too much guys <laughs> oh. okay so that is that i'm just going to leave that aside so guys i have my pot on the cooker already and as i said i'll be using palm oil and a bit of vegetable oil and this is optional you can use just palm oil or you can use just vegetable oil or you can mix it the way i'm missing it is optional now the reason why i'm missing it is because i have if I use only vegetable, there's this taste that I don't want to get. If I use only palm oil, there's this taste that I don't want to get. But if I use, you know, both, I'll kind of get a flavor kind of that I would love to get, <laughs> you know. So anyway, that's um, it. I be, I'm using both palm oil and vegetable oil because of the flavor I'm going to get. Okay, guys. So I'm going to allow this to get hot and then we'll start frying our fish. So guys, my pan is, I mean, my oil is hot now. I'm going to start adding my fish. And one thing I did not mention earlier, when you season your fish like that, you can leave it for some time. Uh, this is 15 minutes later when I season my fish. And, you know, sometimes if you want to get the fish to be well seasoned, you can season it and keep it in your fridge and fry it the next day or a few hours later, it will taste nice. But if you are someone that you are in a hurry to fry it, I'll tell you, uh, wash the fish inside salt water, you know, and make sure it's a bit you can f um, Taste the salt in the fish and before you add your seasoning cube that will also help to taste nice. Okay, guys So now let's start frying
so guys while my fish is frying i'm going to start cutting my um you know my tomato pepper onions and here i have scotch bonnet which i didn't show earlier this is optional this is very spicy it's optional if you are someone that you don't like spice food i will advise you to um avoid this and just use this one but if you like spice you can use this or you can use dry ground pepper you know so i'm going to cut and i'm going to take out the seed but the seed is the major spicy one so i'm just taking out the seed before i start cutting And this is optional you don't have to take out the seed but the seed is if you are chewing maybe you are eating the fish and you mistakenly go and chew the seed oh my days you'll be sweating for like three hours <laughs> so i'm just gonna take the seed off i don't know whether this knife can do the job but let's see and uh, if you have gloves you can also wear gloves but i don't have gloves or you can wear nylon but anytime i wear those kind of things i don't cut the fish the way i'm supposed to, i don't cut the pepper the way i'm supposed to cut it so when i finish cutting i'll go and wash my hands with soap you know soap and sponge And then you can also blend your tomato and your pepper and your onions but with this recipe I don't want to I don't want to blend it that's why I'm chopping it okay guys this is optional you can chop blend guys my fish is ready as you guys can see it's golden brown so now i'm going to add my tomato and onion I'm going to add my tomato paste i don't think i mentioned it earlier although i put it um with the peppers but i don't remember mentioning it guys sometimes oh my days <laughs> when you're doing video you don't remember most of things 
but i'm going to leave all the ingredients i use uh during the the comment section below because i noticed that when i leave um the recipe what i use in the description you guys don't read you still ask me what did you use what did you do so now i'll be used i'll be leaving it and i'll pin it you know where the comments are so you guys can see it so i'm just going to fry this for about five minutes okay five minutes and um, i'm going to add you guys remember it was two i used one to season the fish and this is the remaining one i'm just going to add it now and guys this is the ginger and the garlic i showed earlier i'm just putting it here i want to you know but if you don't have this you can use knives to chop it or you can blend it okay you guys see that so good guys okay. so now i'm going to add the pepper the white pepper a little bit not a lot that much okay let me taste it Mm, it kind of needs salt but instead of salt i'll be adding aromat so as i said i'm going to allow this to cook for another um about four minutes yeah and then we'll be back okay so guys four minutes later or total five minutes i'm going to add my fish i'm going to mix so that i want the sauce to you know to mix with the fish the fish to mix with the sauce and all that so i'm just going to stir this for about mm, i'm gonna leave it in the, here for about one minute you know So guys i'm going to add my mixed pepper oh that's beautiful look at the color guys okay now we're going to mince let me saw that oh beautiful look at my mouth is watching guys my mouth is watching right now <laughs> so i have to be careful so that my fish will not break you know Ooh. my fish is going somehow now i don't know Okay. Mm. It smells so good, guys. You need to try this recipe. You need to try it. Okay, so I'm going to allow this to. I'm going to cover it like to steam for about three minutes and then it will be ready. Okay, guys. Oh, beautiful. Oh, this is nice. So, it's ready, guys. Can you guys see? I don't want my pepper to be, um, I, I like it crunchy. You know, when you are eating it, you still feel the crunchiness. That is it. So, guys, it's ready now. Uh, three minutes later, because I like when the peppers is crunchy. But if you want the pepper to be proper cook, I'll tell you to cook it maybe for five to seven minutes. But I only cook it for three minutes and it's ready. And let me quickly tell you guys what you can eat with this recipe. You can have it with yam, especially yam or sweet potatoes. Or when you make, when, when you cook beans, cook the beans plain. Don't add pepper or um, or oil. 
and you can just use it to eat with your beans or you can have it with your bread you know this is so yummy or any other meal of your choice thank you so much guys for watching i will see you guys in my next video love you all